So hey, uh, I don't know if you need any help with this, but I did. Um, I'm having some fuel problems on my, um, let's see, what is this, uh, 2007 Sea-Doo Wake Edition. And I'm um, having some fuel flow problems with uh, some uh, uh, not getting enough fuel pressure. So I'm going to clean the, uh, what are those, fuel injectors. I'm going to show you how to take them off and clean the fuel injectors. It's super simple. Um, and so hopefully this is helpful to you, but uh, let's go on into, into the engine compartment here You've got two bolts that hold on the fuel rail You're going to take those out and then you're going to gently kind of work the uh, fuel rail out And then you're going to see there there are your fuel injectors and these have two clips to take them off First you've got this metal one here that I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to just gently work it out there it goes and it just popped off. You got to be careful with those. You don't want them popping down into the bottom of the engine compartment um, just like I just didn't do. Um, and then the second thing is you've got this little clip here that, that holds it on and so you're just going to kind of work it back. Uh, you probably need a little tool to just kind of push back on it just a little bit. So first off let me get that out of the way so you can go ahead and pull that off. And then I'm going to just push back here and here and start working this, this little clip back off the back of this fuel injector. So that's another clip. I'm just going to let it fall down in that little area then. And then from there, I just pull out the fuel injector. So that's our fuel injector. So let's come over here to the workbench. And um, what you're going to need on your on the what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need some carb spray with a little uh, little little uh, straw adapter and you're going to need a 9 volt battery because these are actually activated um, with uh, 12 volts in the jet ski, but a 9 volt battery will actually open them up. And uh, you're going to need two wire leads. Um, and so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip these two alligator clips to these two pins here. And there we go. And then let me, let me set up the phone so my son can actually help. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we go this way. I think you can see. I think you can see what we're up to. Yep, there we go. So there you go. Hi there. So here's our fuel injector. It's hooked, to, hooked up to... Um, our two leads on the 9 volt battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the carb spray and I'm going to put it in the back end of the of the fuel injector I'm going to wrap a rag around it because it kind of squirts out the back quite a bit and then I'm going to uh, put this in there and then my son what's going to happen is he's going to hit the hit the battery go ahead and do it you can you can see do it again you hear that little click do it again that's the fuel um, injector opening, opening and closing. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's what that was. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him open it. So go ahead and do it. There you go. It's open. And then I'm just going to spray this in there. See how it's coming out the end? And basically, you're just, you're just cleaning out those four little jets that are in the back end of the fuel injector. And then you just take these off. It's cleaned out now, and uh, you reinstall. So that is how you clean out your fuel injectors. It doesn't take very long. In fact, I was shocked at how easy it is, and hopefully that's helpful to you.